the Palestinian people. We are here to salute Chivez, the president of Venezuela. We are here to salute all the Palestinians who are resisting the Israeli occupation and who has the full right to resist against the Israeli occupation. Ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, I'll speak two, few, two words in Arabic so the people who don't understand the language to participate with us. أيتها الأخوات أيها الأخوة نحن هنا اليوم ليس لا لنبكي غزة فقط ولا لندين الاحتلال الإسرائيلي ولا الاعتداءات الإسرائيلية على شعبنا في غزة وفي فلسطين كاملة نحن هنا أيضا لنحيي المقاومة الفلسطينية بكافة فصائلها إذا كانت إسرائيل تدعي أنها تقاتل حماس فلتعلم إسرائيل وليعلم العالم بأننا كلنا حماس وكلنا جبهة شعبية وكلنا فرد وكلنا جهاد إسلامي نحن هنا لنحيي الرئيس الفنزويلي شافيز الذي طرده الذي طرده السفير الإسرائيلي من أرض فنزويلا الطاهرة Chavez, 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 Democracy 
and drill to the Governor General begging to extend their rule. They are the cowards. Down with the harbor! Down with the harbor! Down with the harbor! But, but it doesn't end with Stephen Harbor. We have a Prof. Iggy. Do you know Professor Iggy? The Professor Iggy who supported the war in Iraq and who supported the torture. We say to Ignatiev, you are not a champion of human rights. You are a coward and support of war. You are a warmonger. We as a Canadian. Right now there are more than 20 actions across Canada saying not in our name, not in our name as a Canadian, Jews, Muslim, Christian, people of faith and no faith, not in our name, you support occupation, you support genocide, shame on you Canadian politicians who are siding with Israel. And to Israeli terrorist state, to Israeli terrorist state we say, for more than 60 years, you were not able, and you will never be able, to break the spirit and the heart of Palestinians. Palestinians will fight you back. Resistance will fight you back. After Palestine is free, Free, free Palestine! Free, free Palestine! Free, free Palestine! Free, free Palestine! Never in my life have I been so proud to be Palestinian! Because the Palestinian people, for 60 years, Israeli apartheid has been trying to break us! For 60 years, they want us to forget that we're Palestinian! Shame! 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 
What an indignity! What a dishonor! What a humiliation! The very idea is a crime against humanity. Crime no good. The Gaza ghetto that imprisons the Palestinians is all too similar to the Warsaw ghetto built by Hitler. The Israeli government uses many of the methods of Nazism against the Palestinians. The ultimate aim is to wipe them out as a people, and that is genocide! For we have, for if we have learned one thing from Hitler's crimes against the Jews, it is that ethnic cleansing, ethnic slaughter, and genocide must be opposed today, wherever it occurs, and above all, in Palestine. From the labor movement, from all faith groups, and other the monination and organization with us. And it's my honor and pleasure to introduce to you a great fighter, a noble man, a brave man, Seth Ryan, President of Canadian Union, Public Employee, Ontario. Sisters and brothers, I want to first off begin my remarks by talking about Susan Ways, the previous speaker. This brave woman, according to the Canadian Jewish Congress, is a self-hating Jew. Because the woman believes in human rights. Because she's a brave soul that's prepared to stand up and speak out against the atrocities that are taking place in the Gaza Strip today. There are war crimes being committed, and that's not just Sid Ryan saying that. The United Nations has come out and actually condemned Israel for the atrocities that are taking place. Yeah. 300 academics, 300 Canadian academics just yesterday sent a letter to Stephen Harper and said it is time to place sanctions on the state of Israel. Yeah. Naomi Klein, a great activist, renowned around the world, said it is time to get into a boycott of Israel. Boycott their goods and services. So my friends, people are beginning to speak out around the world. But the greatest tragedy of all, because we hear from the media a one-sided reporting of what's going on. And I've yet to see one single editorial anywhere in any newspaper across Canada that condemns Israel, that condemns Israel for shutting down the freedom of the press. Listen, my friends, I'll say this much to you, and I'll say this as an Irish person, somebody, somebody who lived through the troubles in Northern Ireland. And I know after 800 years of occupation, I can tell you there's only one way that the Brits got out of Ireland. It was when the Republican movement decided that they were going to become political. And I tell you, my friends, we have got to see Palestinians and Muslims in the parliaments of Canada. That's the only way you're going to find people speaking out about your issues. You've got to get political. You've got to elect some politicians. And don't depend on the Iggy's. Don't depend upon the Harpers. Get your own people elected into the Parliament and have them stand up in the House of Parliament across from Stephen Harper and say, shame on you, Stephen Harper. How can you remain silent? How can you remain silent when women and children are being slaughtered before our eyes and you remain silent? My friends, that's the only way we're going to change this equation. Get political. Get elected. Put them into Queen's Park and put your people into the House of Parliament. Stay strong, my friends. The tide is turning. The world knows what's going on in Gaza. It's an absolute disgrace. It is a crime of the century. And this will go down in infamy, this period in our history. Yes, people will look back. Now they may criticize us. Now they'll try to belittle us. 
But in the passage of time and in the fullness of time, the atrocities that's happening in the Gaza will be viewed and seen by the world as one of the greatest crimes of this century. My friends, stay strong. You're on the right side. You are never, never wrong when you're fighting for human rights and when you're fighting for men and children. Israel has been attacked from Gaza 
not just last year, but for almost 10 years. This is Ignatiev. We, for, we forgot, we forgot that Palestine is under occupation. We forgot, we forgot that his father was at the United Nations representing Canada when they drafted the resolution 242 for the withdrawal of Israel from from the from the 1967 occupation and another attack other attack on the president of QP said Ryan when those 250,000 Canadian unions stood up to stood up to send a clear message that we Canadians believe in justice and we believe in peace the media started to attack said Ryan as anti-semitic and they And what, my friends, today, Israel, the largest, the fourth largest military force in, in the world, sending messages to the USA, we need more weapons, we need more arms, we need to kill those Palestinian terrorists, Be with them. this is it, this is Israel, and they need weapons, and they need and they need and they need ammunition from the United States. We tell them enough killing children. Enough killing children. Enough killing children. Enough killing children. And a message to our Prime Minister. Come on. Don't be silent. Don't be silent. Don't be silent. You don't represent us. You represent only the Conservative Party. Even you don't have a government today. You don't have a government and you will never have a government again because you are you are away from our our values, our Canadian values who believe in justice and peace. Long live Palestine! Long live Palestine! Brothers and sisters, don't be mistaken. Stephen Harbour and the political elites of this country and some of the board and the corporate board of the media, they are supporters of ethnic cleansing based on the shameless Canadian history against the First Nation people of this land. This is their legacy. Ethnic cleansing, genocide and mass killing. And we as a Canadian, we stand up for human rights. We stand up for equity. We stand up for equality. We stand up for freedom and dignity. We have what they will never have, integrity and principles. So we say, from Iraq to Palestine, occupation is a crime! From Iraq to Palestine, occupation is a crime! It's my honor to introduce to you Brother Rabbi Fish, who will not be speaking because of the Sabbath, and Brother Khalid Muammar, President of the Canadian Arab Federation, who will speak to us on behalf of the Canadian Arab Federation and will say a statement from Brother Rabbi Fish. The people united will never be defeated. 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 Brothers and sisters, we have 15,000 Canadians here today. And we have with us three rabbis who came all the way from New York to send their support. And from Montreal. They, can, they have a statement, but they cannot read it because of the Sabbath, so I will read part of it. Thank you for coming! Meteorite Carta is always committed to voice the traditional religious Jewish opposition to the philosophy of Zionism and the existence of the State of Israel. According to Torah teaches, teachings, Jews are in exile by divine decree. The creation of the State of Israel transgresses 
the basic principles of Torah law. It was established on the land of others, totally against the will of its indigenous population, the Palestinian people, with endless, with endless and continuous oppression of its people, including murder, brutal beating, confiscation of their properties, and baseless imprisonment. And those who support Israel are promoting anti-Semitism. They are the anti-Semites. Now, on behalf of the Canadian Arab Federation, I want to thank all of you representing all walks of Canadian life, from all faiths, from all racial backgrounds, from all communities, because you are standing for justice and for international law. Our leaders, however, are somehow either absent or ignorant, and they don't know what Canada stands for. Canada stands for the justice, for diversity, for equality. A human life is the same if it is in Asia, in Africa, in Europe, or in North America. And in South America, the people of South America, through their leaders, like Hugo Chavez and others, have spoken out. Yet our leaders here are, are, uh, are ignorant and irresponsible and silent. Ignatiev, we were able to excuse Ignatiev when he was in the States because he was under the influence of Bush when he was supporting the war in Iraq and when he was uh, supporting the use of torture. But then when he came to Canada, he didn't change. I think he still lives on an island somewhere outside of Canada. He does not realize that Canada was the first, was one of the founders of international law, the Geneva Conventions, and a supporter of international humanitarian law. Our leaders don't know that Canada is opposed to war crimes and crimes against humanity. Israel is killing Palestinian women and children. Shame on Israel! The internet is telling us that Israel is killing UN, UN convoys. They are bombarding UN convoys. Shame! They are bombarding UN schools. Shame! They are, they are bombarding places of worship. They are, they are bombarding hospitals. They are bombarding universities and marketplaces. And yet our leaders are ignorant, at least this is the least we can think of them. They are ignorant. They don't even read the internet. CNN said it was Israel who broke the truce. And yet the media, the media continues saying it was the Palestinian resistance that broke the truce. Where is our media? Shame on Israel! Shame on media! Shame on media!
Harbor all met you will see Palestine will be free Harbor all met you will see Palestine will be free Harbor all met you will see Palestine will be free Harbor all met you will see Palestine will be free I was driving down to this rally to this great rally I cannot see the end of it we must have dozens of thousands of people of the street. And I was listening to the news. And I was listening to the news. And more than 100,000 people in London, UK, surrounded the Israeli embassy. Several hundreds of thousands of people around the world gathering to say, down with terrorism, Israeli. Down with Israel. Shame, shame, 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 Israel. Shame, shame,